This week in the Missouri Senate, we review more legislation making its way through the 2021 session. Particularly hard hit have been our small businesses across the state of Missouri. So this is a huge issue. Senator Tony Luktemeyer of Parkville says Senate Bill 51 would establish provisions relating to civil actions arising from the COVID-19 pandemic. So long as they're not acting recklessly, make sure that they're protected during the reopening phase so that they're not worried about, you know, as soon as they reopen, having to, you know, shut their doors back down because they get sued out of business. Senator Carla May of St. Louis adds she believes this can be done, but it should be done carefully. Make sure the legislation doesn't give blanket immunity to bad actors. That's what we want to make sure of. Senate Bills 51 and 42 with Senate Committee. Senate. Full Missouri Senate discussions started on Senate Bill 51 around 2.30 on Tuesday afternoon. The bill simply raises the standard from ordinary negligence to recklessness and requires that people show the higher burden of proof to hold a business liable for a COVID-19 lawsuit. During this discussion, Senator Doug Beck of St. Louis said he wants to ensure this legislation does what it promises. I didn't really see anything, and maybe I missed it, and maybe you can tell me if you see it in here, where that actually protects the workers that work for these businesses. Nearly 15 hours later, Senate Bill 51 received first-round approval. Another positive vote would send the measure to the Missouri House of Representatives for its consideration. It's no secret that being a police officer... Monday afternoon saw the Missouri Senate Judiciary and Civil and Criminal Jurisprudence Committee hear Senate Bill 129. Senator Luke Tamayer is the sponsor. He says his measure would modify provisions relating to the unlawful posting of certain information over the Internet. Yelled into a megaphone threatening to disclose the location of several officers and their children. During the hearing, Senator Stephen Roberts of St. Louis mentioned the penalty section of the proposal. I'm always hesitant of legislation that creates harsher penalties. I am here for Senate Bill 1. Wednesday morning saw the Missouri Senate Progress and Development Committee hear Senate Bill 187. Senator Beck is the sponsor. He says his proposal would require school district nurses to develop individualized health care plans for students with epilepsy or seizure disorders. And it also requires training every two years. You know, work is a good thing. Also Wednesday, the Missouri Senate Seniors, Families, Veterans, and Military Affairs Committee heard Senate Bill 138. Sponsor, Senator Rick Bratton of Harrisonville, says the measure would modify the law relating to work requirements for participants in the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program. Require that search to start that work process to get out of poverty. Committee action has not yet been taken on either of these bills. And remember, you can follow these and other issues facing the Missouri Senate by visiting our website, senate.mo.gov. Reporting from the State Capitol, I'm Dean Morgan.